Hey everybody, it's Mega Wii Master 1, and guess what? I'm back for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we got through what seems to be the last of the Palace of Shadow, and in this part, we pursue Peach and Grotus. Before we begin, I just want to say that I've since then fixed my controller input delays. It actually wasn't the controller I've learned, it actually had to do with the picture mode on my TV. Since episode 68 and onward, I had been recording with a newer TV, and I had to change the picture mode to gaming, so that's why my inputs felt delayed whenever I was trying my action commands. I've done a few tests since then, and things seem to be working alright. With that being said, well, we're going to need precise timing. Let's proceed forward. Jeepers! This room gives me a super bad feeling, Mario. What is this chamber? <laughs> we finally meet, Mario. I've been looking forward to this, I must admit. So this chump is the leader of those x knots Yes, correct. I am the supreme leader of the secret society of x knots I am Grotus. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I really must express my thanks to you first. And do you know why? You have gathered together all the crystal stars I was seeking. No! The last crystal star we found on the moon... What did we do? <laughs> you just realize now, do you? Yes. Instead of taking the few crystal stars you fools had bubbled into, it was far easier to let you find them all and open the thousand-year door for me. How kind of you to bring them all here to me. All I had to do was entrust the last crystal star to my least competent underling. I don't suppose Crump had any idea of my plan, though. <laughs> so whether he beat you or lost to you, the Crystal Stars would be together in mine either way. Pure genius. So he played Crump for a patsy. It's pretty low, even for a sleazeball like Grotus. Now I thought the Shadow Sirens would do a little more to slow your progress. But it appears they are so useless they even that even this small task was beyond them. No matter. Now I get the pleasure of sending you to oblivion. Be careful, Mario. This jerk looks totally nasty. Once you fools are gone, no one will stand in my way. Grotus will rule the world. No way we let that happen. Now come. Meet your ends, you meddlesome fools. You will know my power. It's the long-anticipated battle we've been waiting for. Against Grotus, leader of the x knots And Stylish. That's Grotus. He's the head of the x knots who kidnapped Peach. Max HP is 50, attack is 7, and defense is 1. But when he has Grotus X's surrounding him, his defense will go up by that number. He may also use electricity, fire, and time-stopping magic. That doesn't sound good. Still, he's a totally weird guy. Why is he so intense and serious all the time? I guess we don't have time to worry about that. Let's beat him and find Peach. Alright. What I actually want to do first is I want to take out the little Grotus X's that are surrounding him. Because, well, we'll learn that whenever we tattle them as Goombella. Don't worry, they'll spit respawn next turn anyway, so I'm not missing my chance to tattle them at all. There we go, there's the electricity, and don't be surprised if you have trouble timing that. That can be pretty difficult. Alright, now we're going to go for the Grotus X's. And stylish. 
That's a Grotus X. It protects Grotus. Max HP is 3, attack is 4, and defense is 0. This guy has no problem on its own, but Grotus' defense goes up for each of them. When he has 4 surrounding him, we won't be able to damage him at all. Yes, that's what the green barrier around him was. So let's just out some hurt to them while we pound on Grotus. Got it? Okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to set up... Uh, do I want to set up a power lift? N nah, actually, I think what I should do is just probably take out the Grotus X's, and I think that's what I'm going to use this Thunder Rage here for. And just so that way we can clear our inventory out just a little bit. I mean, we're near the end of the game, we might as well use this stuff. Alright, so what's he doing? Okay, good. Now, he actually does have a few other attacks, which I'm hoping he'll get to show. Or, not really attacks, but rather statuses he can inflict on himself. But, uh, we'll just wait and see if he does that at all. For now, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use Flurry and employ the strategy I learned on the moon with the little mini Yuxes. Because, if you do that... The Grotus X's will go away no problem, because they behave very much the same. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to do... Oh, you can actually power bounce multiple points of Grotus. Well, we're just going to go for the head. And just dish out as much damage as we can that way. There we go, good. So, you have the metal to push me this far. But no more. Okay, let's see what he's going to do here. Alright, he can make himself dodgy, which is something Goombella didn't say, and then he can do one other thing. And, of course, we'll hope that he shows that. Uh, for now, let's see. I don't want to expend a lot of FP on him directly if he's dodgy, so what I'll probably do is... I think we'll switch to Miss Mouse, and then just hope we can get lucky and pierce his defense, if this hits at all, since he's dodgy. We'll find out. But while we're just kind of hammering away at him, I want to bring up that he does something that I think a lot of good villains are... Oh, what am I trying to say here? The fact that he put us in a lose-lose scenario where he would have the Crystal Stars either way, to me, is genius, and I love that in a villain. Man, he's doing a lot of the electricity to Al. Alright, uh, let me see what we can do here. How about we... Let's bring out Vivian and have her do Fire Rage Inks. You know, we'll just kind of show a little bit of every partner. Now, I'm not using a lot of special moves yet. I'm trying to save those for whenever I have to heal, which might be pretty soon. Uh... I'm not going to take a chance with the dodgy effect, so let's just use the hammer. Ow. Okay. Uh, I think now would probably be a pretty good time for me to employ special moves. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use Sweet Feast. Actually, what partner do I want? Because I don't think I'm going to keep Vivian out for very much longer either. Let's go with... He has one defense, so Tyson, unfortunately, isn't going to be very much help. Uh... We say we go with Koops, because I know Koops has a special mood move that pierces defense, his Shell Slam. So for now... Oh, wait, actually, here's what we should do. If I'm going to be healing, let's heal... Let's heal Goombella, because I want to try to use her again by the end of the fight. Uh, and then we'll switch to Koops on her turn. Yeah, there we go, that's what we'll do. So, hopefully we got lucky with this. I want to try to get a lot of FP. That's already pretty good. No, I missed... Ah, oh, I missed the two big ones. Alright, not a big deal. We're getting some good ones. I missed the Poison Shroom, that's good. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. I can deal with worse. And then we'll switch to Koops. 
and we'll go ahead and use Shell Slam, which is... I don't know if we've gotten to show it. I hope we have. For all I know, it was probably in the last couple episodes, and I just forgot about it. But that pierces defense. Ugh. You will not stop me! Take this! When he starts getting a little bit weaker, he'll resort to... Okay, good. It didn't work. Ow. That's... That was really hard. Now, let's see about... Hmm. Uh, what do you say we go with... I want to use... Let's go with Flurry one more time, Gale Force, and then we'll do a Power Bounce on him. But yeah, uh, doing the tests it allowed me to experiment with a lot of different ways of fighting him and just get used to the controls again. So I, I, I'm definitely saying I prepare for this fight. And it doesn't look like he's going to show the other status he can inflict, unfortunately, because he's getting pretty down there. Ugh, fools! You can see he's taking a little bit of damage here. There we go, there's the fire attack. But that's not the one I thought he was going to do. And yeah, the audience is actually also filled with x knots, and I remember my first couple tests, they were throwing things a lot, so don't be surprised if you get uh, poor audience reception in this this battle. Uh, I'm kind of hoping he shows it, but I also really don't want to give him the chance. Essentially what he can do is he can make it so that way you can't attack him directly and you have to use the hammer. I don't think I'm going to give him that chance. So what do you say we just bring out Goombella? Have her do this, because I'm pretty sure we've got him now. Oh. Uh, no we don't. Okay. Uh, Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can get him with one more power bounce. Here we go. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. That's, uh, hopefully not going to bite me in the butt. There we go. Th go away! Yeah, uh, the audience can be particularly annoying in this fight. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Is there any way for... Oh, I have an idea. We'll just do multi-bounce. Alright, good, good enough, good enough. And then we'll use Rally Wink, give Mario an extra turn. And I don't know what the style is just for that. It doesn't matter. I think we've got him. One more whack of the hammer. You're done. Ugh. No. There we go. Unfortunately, we did get double star points. That would have been really nice here. Ugh. You are more than you seem. But this is not finished. I saw even this possibility. Huh? Watch this! Man, he was prepared for everything. Where am I? Mario! Princess Peach? Move one step, and she will breathe no more. You wouldn't. Now try this. Mario! <laughs> now again. No! Mario! Oh, what do we do, Mario? We're totally done for if we don't attack him. He still needs Peach. We don't know what for, but he needs her. He wouldn't dare hurt her if he still... If he still has need of her, there's no way he's gonna hurt her. Let's attack. Stop your blubbering. This is it. Meet your end! Oh, 
What? Bowser? That was a surprise. I didn't think I'd fall. Have I put on weight? Your chunkiness. Are you okay? Woof! <laughs> Why is Mario here? And Peach as well? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Mario! First I pound you, then I take the princess, and then the treasure! You idiot, there is no treasure! What? This is totally unfair! All this and Bowser too? <laughs> oh, all worn out for battle, Mario. Yes, easy pickings. Today's the day I flush a plumber down the drain. Yeah, two pretty difficult battles back to back. Even one of them wouldn't be as bad, but together and not being able to heal. Uh, be lucky if you're able to level up after the Grotus fight. <laughs> What's a finale without a Bowser appearance, huh? A cruddy finale, that's what... Okay, I can't disagree with you there, buddy. Now hold still while I trounce you and take my peach. Mario, you sniveling bug! This is it for you! <laughs> Alright, now luckily, we don't need to spend two turns tattling, because we already fought Bowser back in Chapter 3 in the Glitz Pit. But I will play this clip because Goombella does still have a funny tattle entry for him, and that way you could be updated on his more recent stats. And apparently we can be given a slow shroom. Alright, I might as well use it on myself. Oh, uh, but here's the clip. That's Bowser genius. I've only fought this guy like a bazillion times. He'll keep kidnapping Peach, and you'll keep fighting him until the end of time, I think. Max HP is 70, attack is 7, and defense is 2. In addition to his fire breath, he jumps on you and bites. If you get jumped on, you'll be unable to use a uh, command for a little while. Oh, and his bite sometimes poisons you as well. I don't know what Bowser's doing here, but we gotta defeat him quick. While we're cut away, and because I forgot to bring it up during the recording, I also wanted to show the alternate choice of if you decide not to attack. There really is no difference aside from a slightly different response from Grotus, because Bowser falls on him regardless before any action can be made. But that's all it is, really. Anyway, let's resume where we left off. So, we're just going to use that slow shroom right away on Mario, and... We'll go ahead and tattle Kami Koopa. And stylish. That's Kami Koopa. She's an evil old witch who's always helping Bowser out. Max HP is 50, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Yeah, no longer relegated to the... What was it, like 15 HP or something like that in the original game? And using blocks for attack, she's actually received quite a bit of an upgrade. She uses magic to raise her attack and defense, or get electrified or invisible. When her HP gets low, she may also use magic to restore HP. Her magic is totally annoying, so take her out before you focus on Bowser. Still, you gotta feel for her having to hang out with Bowser all the time. Or do you think Bowser has a harder time enduring her? You know, honestly, I think they bring out the worst in each other. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. I was hoping the dodginess would help. <laughs> I sure do feel good today. I'm feeling it. Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser! Ra ra ra! Get him! You gonna take your turn now, or are we gonna wait? Okay, you missed. Good. Alright. Uh, how do we want to do this? Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out Tyson, because Kami Koopa doesn't have any defense, meaning she's going to she's gonna be easy pickings for Tyson's 
pretty good ability. If an enemy doesn't have defense, this is extremely good. I didn't get the stylish. I could really use that because I wanted to use Sweet Feast again. Oh, if we can get this Mushroom Bingo, that'd actually be fantastic, too. Uh... You know what? I don't think I'm going to take the chance. I think I'm going to heal again. Let's bring out somebody who needs healing. Uh... Let's just do Goombella again. But yeah, I hope you guys now see why I wanted to have Goombella towards the end of the last fight. Just that way she'd be ready to tattle Kami Koopa. So, let's go ahead and use Sweet Feast one more time. Alright. Uh, this is good. This is good. Very good. Not a lot of poison mushrooms here, either. Kind of surprised. Well, there's one, but other than that... Alright, not bad. I didn't want to take any chances, and that slow shroom is going to help a little bit, too. Okay, not bad, not bad. Unfortunately, dodginess is worn off. So, what do you say we do... Yeah, I'm not going to focus on Bowser too much. I want to get rid of Kami Koopa, so that way she can't inflict statuses. Uh, let's go. Bob, Bob Ray can only attack in front. Okay, uh, let's go with... Let's go with Tyson one more time. And here we go. Let's get that second stylish this time. Ah, I failed it again. Okay, there's that. Ah, oh, that would have been so good right now. Alright. Well, let's go with a power bounce since we have full FP. And then... Pretty much just take out Kami Koopa as quick as can be. And all the punies ran away. I don't think there were very many, so that's not going... Ow! Bowser, he's a baby. Jeez. And invisible. Great. We're not doing anything for her for a while. Uh, we're kind of at a standstill, so... How's about we just kind of appeal... And get some of our SP back. I don't know what they're throwing. Oh, mushroom. Cool. I'm just going to use that right away. Uh, use that on Mario. Because I'm not going to use Tyson throughout the entire fight. Because I, I do want to try to give everybody at least a little bit of an opportunity to shine here. But yeah, I mean... Let's be honest. With Bowser going on his misadventures throughout this game... It was pretty obvious we were going to run into him at some point. I mean, aside from Blitzville, obviously. He is right. What's about what's a finale without Bowser? And of course, whenever Kami Koopa goes away, she'll go back to get her broom, so she cannot be attacked in the air. Or, so she cannot be attacked on the ground, which isn't really that big an issue. Unless you were to take out... Because usually... If you were to attack something on the ground, it would have to be either a hammer or a partner attack. And most hammer and partner attacks deal with the front target first, which is Bowser. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make that much sense to me. But she's only got one more turn in, of invisibility left. So, again, I say we just kind of appeal. Get some of our SP back and then maybe try to do a power lift. And it missed me. Cool. Yeah, she's not really using the block magic anymore. Now she's just using standard magic Koopa stuff. Alright. Uh, now... Uh... We'll do power lift and do one more round with Tyson. And then we'll switch him out for another partner. Or maybe we'll take advantage of the entirety of power lift while it's still in effect. Here we go. Alright, uh, not... Not great, but not horrible. Alright. And then Tyson, let her rip. Can we get this first stylish? No. I, I, I don't know if I'm late with it or early. I'm pretty consistent with getting the second one. Alright, 
And if we don't dodge that, then he'll get rid of one of our action commands. I don't know if it's random or if it's set to be, like, jump every time. Go away. Uh, thankfully, I was able to tell that that was an x knot. All right. Power bounce one more time with her. Wow! Okay, no problem there. And still, come on. All right. Uh, I don't really feel like we need... To, ah, what the heck. Tyson, go ahead and... Actually, we might as well even just start taking out Bowser. I'm pretty sure he'll be able to t pierce Bowser's defense with the up the attack. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And two for the price of one. And we're getting pretty lucky. No pun intended. I'm not worried about Kami Koopa's defense here anymore. She's done. So... Yeah, we'll just take her out. That was my fault entirely. But the fireworks took her out for me! Thanks! We didn't get to see her other effects, but I don't think she does much else. Forgive me, Lord Bowser! I have nothing left! I mean, we didn't get to see her do electricity or anything, but that's nothing we haven't really already seen in other forms. So I'm not too worried about it. Kind of the same with Rotus's uh, not being able to attack him directly. It's not like it's very much dip. Okay, that I just wasn't even ready for. There we go. All right. Power lift has run its course. We're gonna give some other partners a time to shine. Let's bring out. Uh, who have we yet to see? Bobbery, you weren't able to help a little bit earlier, so let's give you a shot. Then you got a lot of HP, so if Bowser tries attacking you, then you'll be able to deal with it. And we'll go power bounce again. Four, five. I'm usually good with about six or seven. I think that's my record so far. I'm not one of those amazingly skilled people that can, like, chain it all together. Uh, but I feel like a decent turn for me is six or seven. Yeah, and I, I hope you can tell just why each of these fights is kind of difficult in their own unique ways. Grotus has more defense to worry about, but he has less HP. Here, not a lot of defense, thankfully, but you still have to worry about not only two targets, but more HP in general. Oof! So, Mario, you still have some fight in you! Not bad! Alright. Not worried. We're doing pretty good, guys. We're doing pretty good. Let's show... Uh, Miss Mouse, you didn't really get to help out as much last time, so let's go with Love Slap. Alright, not bad. Got the stylish. And... Uh, could we do anything else other than Power Bounce? I mean, I suppose we can, but honestly, I feel like Power Bounce is my best shot. So let's just keep chaining them together. Two, three... Four, five. Right. Dodge it again. Good. Oh, the audience is asleep, so we're not even going to get the stylishes. That's annoying. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, Flurry. You really didn't get to attack Grotus. You just kind of. You just kind of more or less did the whole Gale Force thing, so we see you, you ground pound Bowser here for me. Or body slam. Alright, good. At this point, I don't think we need to worry much. He's pretty well gone. I think uh, at least one more turn we've got him. Alright. Let's bring it back to Goombella. Yeah, Goombella, if you would be so kind. There we go. And I think we can get one more power bounce, and this should be it. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah, ha, ha. That's unfortunate. Okay. That's good. This is the end. So, what do you say we make it flashy? Do a spring jump. You're done, Bowser.
Nicely done. Thirty star points. How could this happen? Phew. That was hairy. At least we settled that, nuts hash. Now let's save Peach, okay, Mario? What? Where's Grotus? Yeah! That was Peach!